Let me guess. Cheap, simple, fresh, mass appealing, easy to grab. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to five, well, six cheap, fresh out of the shower fragrances that have a twist. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3 to the B to the A. I am not so much the fresh out of the shower guy, and that's because my nose sometimes is a little bit snobby. But good is good, and sometimes you don't need something super opulent and very expensive to make some sort of statement. Now, these are six fragrances that I have selected that have that fresh out of the shower feel for me with a little bit of a twist. They're not necessarily that old, spicy, soapy, body wash, fresh out of the shower scent. Although they do have that characteristic, some of these have a little bit of a twist. Now these are an absolutely banger, amazing, the best in the fucking planet. These are six cheap, good smelling fragrances that will garner you some compliments. Now keep in mind, to get that fresh out of the shower smell, you gotta take a fucking shower. You can't be smelling like schmeckma walking around thinking that you put on one of these fragrances and automatically you're gonna get the flyest girl out of a fucking movie to give you a compliment. Guess what? Doesn't work, Charlie. So let's go into these fragrances. And these are all fragrances that have that fresh out of the shower kind of sparkly, invigorating kind of scent with a little bit of a twist. And I'm gonna start off with an OG. These are in no particular type of order, but this one just works. I featured it in a previous video and it made me just spark that memory in my head like, yo, reach for this shit. How long has it been since you've worn Sean John Unforgivable? I mean, Millicent Imperial stand to the side. Sean John is coming with a motherfucking velour tracksuit. This fragrance works. It's fresh, it's dry, it's a little musky, it's got a little bit of a wet coinish vibe, but it has a beautiful fresh out of the shower twist with some citrusy elements that give you that musky dry brightness that you're looking for when you're coming out of the shower. This was an OG staple for your boy. I wore the piss out of this when I went to an all boys Catholic high school because clearly I was trying to impress other men. And when I got kicked out of that and went to a public school and learned the beauties of cutting school and eventually dropped out and still wore this bullshit while trying to sell pharmaceutical goods. I mean, this shit just bring, <laughs> this brings back so many amazing memories. You got that orange, you got a grapefruit, a little bit of a boozy vibe. You got some lavender. There's a little effervescent flow in here that I do appreciate. This is just a great cheapie that gives you fresh out of the shower vibes. And trust me, if a lot of people around you aren't from the Sean John era, they might not know what you're wearing and really appreciate this kind of fragrance. Next one. I mean, this fragrance is not a banger. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It's not a banger. But when you're looking for fresh out of the shower and you're looking for some green elements at a stupid afford, I mean, sometimes this shit is like 12 to $14. You can get yourself some Calvin Klein truth. It's super green, synthetic as shit, but actually quite pleasant. It's not a banger once again but it's got so much green freshness in it that you feel like you're bathing with an Old Spice lavender sponge that you squeeze like in a commercial and drip all over you and just left with the soap suds on you. It's like Irish Spring fucked Old Spice and had a baby and it was generated in Calvin Klein truth. Pleasant green basil, slightly minty, not a horrible fragrance, not a super panty dropper, but super clean, very fucking cheap and not horribly performing on my skin. This is one that I literally just spray on a t-shirt or sometimes on my underwear, iron the underwear after I spray it so it's, you know, sunking into the draw fibers. It works. Sometimes you gotta spray the little musty area between your legs on your denim jeans because who washes jeans anyway? Calvin Klein truth is the truth for $10. Next one. Who puts an honorable mention in the middle? No one else but me. This was a fragrance that had a bit of a buzz, was discontinued or is possibly still discontinued, but now more readily available than it was before. The shit was $20 in what, Gap or Old Navy, one of the fucking spots? And that's sea salt and fig. Fucking good. Just good. This fucking thing worked 
so good. The fig in here is super fake, but so pleasant. Performed very well off of my skin. Bright, salty, figgy, green, aquatic, super chill, great fragrance. For like 20 stones, I think Amazon even got this shit now for like $30. So price went up. I've smelled a lot worse fragrance for a higher price tag than this joint. I think that this was a hit, especially for the price point, and that's why it got the hype that it did. Beautiful, different, earthy vibes. Again, a synthetic mess that fucking just hits well off of my skin. Sea Salt and Fig by Kindred Goods. If you can find it somewhere online, please don't overpay for this shit. $35, I think it's absolutely the cap. But this is a very fun fragrance that gives you a fresh out of the shower vibe with a little fig action. Next one. A simple fragrance that's super pretty, very easy to find, inexpensive as shit, and it's by the house of Tommy Bahamas, and that's Martinique. I mean, dumb, dumb. It's literally aquatic notes, citrusy vibes with a little bit of wood and some slight sour. You do feel like you're in the boat in the middle of nowhere, possibly being invaded by some pirates. Who knows? This is a dumb reach fragrance that really just works. I consider this like fresh out of the shower transitioning to like a gym bag vibes. Like you can really just throw this in and it's gonna be a compliment inducing fragrance cause it's not offensive. Generally when it's a fragrance that's this dumb, aquatic and fresh, doesn't separate you from the rest, but it also doesn't offend anybody. This isn't something that you're gonna overspray and somebody's gonna be like, oh, this oud is offensive. You smell like 17 dudes having a weird orgy. You're not gonna smell like musty sheets or a wet fucking towel. You're gonna smell nice, fresh out of the shower with a little bit of a Caribbean vibe twist. I feel like there's some underlying booziness in here, but it really doesn't pinpoint it in the notes, but my nose picks up something that's a little bit coconut-ish kind of vibe in this fragrance that I think is super playful and cheap as shit. What is this fucking thing? 20 stones? Come on, next one. One day I want to be like Jeremy Fragrance and dress all white and drive a red Ferrari, but in the meantime, I'm broke as shit, so we rock Ferrari Cedar Essence. If you can't afford the car, you can afford the fucking scent. This is cheap as shit. It's got like a little Ferrari type vibes, a wannabe shift knob type flow here, but Cedar Essence really has minimal cedar essence. This is more fresh out of the shower type vibe than anything else. So with notes like mint, watermelon, aquatic notes, I don't get any cedar anything out of this fragrance, but it is very nice. It is a very nice fragrance that performs like seven hours off my skin for a freshie, which is kind of fucking wild. This was a super pleasant surprise. I didn't think that the Ferrari fragrances were really gonna be much of anything, but they actually do have a nice interesting characteristic about them, and this is actually not fucking bad at all, especially for the price. So this will have that twist with that watermelon action. You still got that watery fresh out of the shower smell, but at least it smells like you wanna have a Ferrari, kind of. Next one. And the last fragrance on this list is by the house of Banana Republic and that's pure white. One of my favorite budget lines in the game. This icon line, I've mentioned it, I mean 60 times at least. It's a great fucking line for what it is. These fragrances usually don't hit anything over 50 bucks and you can really shop around and get them a lot cheaper. This isn't my favorite from the line. My favorite from the line is Linen Vetiver. However, Pure White definitely has that aquatic fresh out of the shower feel that I'm looking for. It's, it's got essences of musk, amber feels, vetiver, citruses. There's a little bit of a violet nuance here, some lavender punches, and really a nice performing fragrance. This entire line, once again, it sounds like a broken record, but this entire line is so solid for what it is that it's easy for you to buy all of them and not really be disappointed because they perform well, they're super cheap. You can buy five for the price of one niche fragrance and really have a nice diversified portfolio of different smell goods. So these are some fresh out of the shower cheapies with a twist that you can try out and see if you enjoy. You're not breaking the bank with any of these. You're not offending anybody with these, but you're not revolutionizing the fucking fragrance space by wearing one of these joints, but you are gonna smell good. And I promise you that you're not gonna be completely disappointed. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Tell them. Who
fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...